everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today what I'm going to be talking about is our internal agency design system. As product designers, we often find ourselves tackling repetitive tasks across various projects. Navigating the tricky waters of project timelines, maximizing efficiency is not just an option, but a necessity. Understanding our clients and the nature of their projects, I realized the importance of working smart, not just hard. The goal is simple, minimize repetition and make the creation of digital product as simple as possible. At Mahara, we bring early stage startup ideas to life by building digital products. Sure, standing out is important, but what truly matters is building something functional, ready for market and ripe for user feedback. Thus began our journey of building an internal agency design system, a curated set of components and design patterns used extensively in our builds. We aim for something versatile, visually appealing and efficient, targeting around a 30% improvement in our delivery speed. You get many different flavors of design systems, like the operating systems from Apple and Google Material Design, design systems for companies like Salesforce, which give other people a set of tools to design their products, branded design systems for companies like Starbucks, Airbnb and Spotify. But what we've built is something for us as an agency to use on the projects we build. Our first step, creating a baseline UI, like buttons, input fields, and styles. Early in the process, we collaborated with the engineering team. We established unified naming conventions aligned around our understanding of their technology and frameworks, ensuring smooth handover from design to engineering. With the baseline UI in place, we then shifted our focus to the most frequently used components in our projects. From there, it was all about the design patterns. Take sign inflows for example. Before we built the design system, I reused the same sign inflow across all projects throughout the year. Given that we build products, you're going to always have some form of sign in. If we've already built a sign in flow, the only thing that maybe changes is how different technology might adopt it, but they're pretty similar. So you might as well just reuse things over and over again. So for the design system, we went and looked at what are the most common patterns we use across all projects. Your baseline UI allows you to build most components. And from these components, you can develop most patterns. As you notice repeatable designs, you can expand your design system for future projects. Remember, design systems are not just design kits and coded assets. They are guides explaining the whys and how of UI, components and patterns, reducing subjectivity and promoting alignment with best practices. During onboarding, new team members are introduced to mods, which serves as their launch pad for most projects. We've allocated dedicated resources to maintain mods, taking into consideration feedback and contributions from our team to ensure that it doesn't become outdated. Building an internal design system can significantly improve your production efficiency. If you have any thoughts or experiences to share, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I hope you found this discussion about internal agency design systems helpful. It's been a game changer for us at Mahara, allowing us to streamline our tasks and create superior products for our clients. My name's Craig Jameson. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, and stay cool.